All right, now it's time for some Tuscan TV vintage finds today. And so we went down to the Apple Tree Vintage Mall in Bethany, Oklahoma. I found a couple of things there after we went to the Disney outlet store. So March, we, you know, went down that way. It was about five, ten minutes away. So I got some pretty cool items and I got a little mixture, not really vintage. I got some vintage stuff and I got some modern stuff. And I want to show you the modern stuff first. And I want to show you this bad boy. I picked up this is the Jacks. That's Pacific action figure uh, Boom, I mean new in the box. He's got some fuzzies on the bottom. I got to clean him up, but new in the box Three dollars bang Three dollars three dollars for the Kylo Ren uh, Jack specific action figure uh, the big tall bad boy. I mean he's massive, but he's cool uh, He's only got him. He's like kind of like the classic action figure Go boom boom uh, he does have his blades, so the blades are actually in here. Three bucks, brand new. That was a great find for me. What do you look at, Kylo? It was a great find for me, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy this. He has a couple of scu uh, scuffs on him, but something I can deal with. He's pretty cool. It's gonna be good in the collection. Um, and then I picked up. You hardly find anything. This it's got some, uh, maybe some light, some light damage, or maybe smoke damage. It doesn't smell like smoke, so I'm thinking it's light damage. But look at that. Star Tours Blaster. You can't beat that. I mean, the orange cap end, hollow points right there. I don't know if it lights up, but that is a great find. This was actually $5 for that blaster. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so, uh, and then I also found, um, this is pretty cool. I've actually never seen this, and so this is gonna look pretty good up. I'm gonna put this in the frame. And man, look at that! The Jabba's Palace was the band. Some of his his uh, dudes, you know, what I'm talking about his hoodlums that run up into the palace. Check out that poster. It was a uh, dollar forty nine back in 1983. So uh, I mean, that's kind of pricey for this little thing. But I picked this up for five bucks, and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Awesome. It's awesome find. I'm gonna put that up pretty pretty soon. And it's not even damaged. It looks great. It looks great. Okay, so this is the this is my best find. I have actually never seen this out. I've actually I've I didn't even know this was a thing. So it was pretty neat. And it's gonna be cool because I'm gonna put this in a shadow box because I do not have the console to play it on. Look at that. Star Wars the arcade game. And you guys know that if you watch these videos, I actually have the Star Wars a release that I bought from um, Best Buy a while back, but this was five dollars. It's nostalgic to me, it really is. And this is going to go into a shadow box. I'm going to hang that up. This is a great find. It's just cool, cool little memorabilia to have from the Star Wars era back in the day. You know, back from whenever I was a kid. I'm aging myself when I was a kid uh, playing this game at a place called Shakey's Pizza in Lawton, Oklahoma, on the actual upright. You know, it looks similar to what I had back there, the upright was, but man, I would spend hours on that bad boy. I mean, loved it. Oh, and I totally forgot about this one. This is another thing I found. It was my Disney find, which is the modern Disney find that I found. Modern Disney find that I found at the Apple Tree vintage uh, resale shop. And it was this bad boy. It is awesome. Okay, it's awesome. I paid six bucks for him. It's Maui. The Maui. Dwayne The Rock Johnson Maui and ah! Wow You got it bad The fever <laughs> Maui fever So what can I say except You're welcome For the islands I pull from the sea Hey so I am not teaching you how to sail Not now, not ever, no way <laughs> Let me show you How it's really done So I picked this up for six bucks He's pretty much brand new. He actually had the uh, the bands around his wrist, like how they keep it locked into the cardboard. So I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh wait, how much is that? And it said $6 and I was like, I'm gonna take you home. And I look ridiculous at the store because I'm like, got him. 
I got Kylo Ren and all this like cheesy stuff with me, and uh, you guy with the tattoos walking to the front buying this, and they're probably thinking he's reselling the stuff. No, guess what? It's not being resold. It's going in my room because I have a stupid uh, toy collection room that has all kinds of weird uh, Disney memorabilia and Star Wars stuff in it, and just random vintage toys. And hey, six dollars for this bad boy? You couldn't pass it up, man. I mean, t you can tell by the joy in my face. This is actually a really good find. And I love Maui. I love Maui. I love Wreck-It Ralph. I love the big guys. I love the big guys in the Disney movies. I mean, he is awesome. I mean, he's got the cool tattoos all over him. Which, are pretty, I mean, those are awesome because they didn't skimp on, like, the layout. So they did a really good job on this figure. And uh, I actually kind of wish they had a smaller one that was, like, as detailed as this guy is. And had the kind of presence of him. But it was a great find. It really was. So, awesome. So that was really cool. So that was my vintage finds today. And uh, you know what? Keep on watching my channel if you like it, if you dig it. Subscribe, follow, give this video a like. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on Twitter. All that good stuff on social media. And uh, we'll keep, up, keep it going and keep it rocking. Peace.